Life is good right now, guys. Life is good. I have some Cheetos, some sweet tea. I haven't been nauseous in a couple days. I just turned two months pregnant today. Lewis is making me some quesadillas. Life is pretty good. I'm gonna spill the pregnancy tea today. So guys, I can't believe I am here today. Thank you. Guys, it has been a long, long journey, but I am here. It just goes to show, never give up, have faith in God, because look at where I am. Am I not only pregnant, but I am pregnant with twins. So I'm going to be talking about my two month pregnancy update. I'm gonna be giving you guys a belly shot. And I am also going to be talking about how I got pregnant. I mean, it's kind of obvious how I got pregnant, but how I got pregnant after trying for almost a year. So with that being said, hi, my name is Bramty. Welcome to my personal channel. I do have a vlogging channel if you guys are new. I am a mom of a daughter. I am married. I am 22 years old and I decided to make my own personal channel aside from our vlogging life. So I guess I'll start talking about how I think I finally ended up getting pregnant. So first of all, when you are young, it shouldn't be an issue of getting pregnant. So with me, I was getting worried because I'm young. I had no complications when I was pregnant with Penelope. I did not know why I was not getting pregnant. So I did a bunch of things, guys. I tried everything. And the reason why I am talking about this is because the day after I announced my pregnancy, I went on my, my Instagram DMs and I had a lot of you guys ask me questions like, Hey, I had a miscarriage and we've been trying for years. Like, what do I do to get pregnant again? Or my sister had a miscarriage. A lot of people were asking for my advice and this is why I am making this video. Another pregnancy symptom is eating a lot of food. Wow, babe. And unfortunately, there are so many women out there struggling to get pregnant. So many women, guys. It's crazy and it's so sad and I wouldn't wish that upon anybody else like having to go through what I went which is having a difficult time getting pregnant and also having miscarriage that is just like the worst thing ever and I want to be able to help those women out there that do have a chance to get pregnant but they just don't know what else to do so I just quickly want to say if you guys don't want to get pregnant use birth control there are so many forms of birth control out there like be smart about it because it's really really sad and it's a slap in the face for all of those women out there who can't get pregnant when you're being very careless and you get pregnant and have an abortion it's like there's women out there who wish they could get pregnant and you're just like throwing it all away so if you're not trying to get pregnant use birth control, use condoms, or don't do it. So one of the first things that I did, and also something my OBGYN recommended, because the doctor that I have now, he was the same doctor that told me I had miscarried, and he told me, start taking prenatal vitamins. Even if you're not pregnant, go to your store and get prenatal vitamins. Start taking them because you're gonna get your body ready and prepared to welcome a baby, to have a baby in your body. So that is what I did. I went out, got prenatals, started taking them, and I really do think that is something that really helped out. Another huge thing, huge, huge thing is stay stress-free because I know, my husband knows, my entire family knows, I stress out so much. The job that I do, YouTube, like editing and recording, being a mom and being a wife and being a housewife, cleaning and doing all that can really stress you out. So something you really need to do is stay stress-free. If something pisses you off, if something is going on, just Close your eyes and breathe and say, this is not good for the baby I am about to have. Take a bubble bath, go out for a walk, meditate. To go along with staying stress-free, stay positive. Positivity is key. You have to be positive. You have to have faith in God. Do you know how bad it sucks Like every single month seeing you get your period? Like When you see your period, you're like, I'm not pregnant. You just don't want to see that. For me, it was month after month after month after a month of me getting my period knowing that I was not pregnant. I didn't say, you know what, I don't wanna do it anymore. Like, you know what, this is dumb. I'm never gonna get pregnant. I, I can't have babies. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I never thought that. I prayed to God, I had faith, I stayed positive. I knew I was gonna get pregnant and I knew God had a plan for me and that I had to keep on trying. Do not lose your faith and do not lose your positivity. I'm a firm believer that if you put something out in the atmosphere, it's gonna come back to you. You have to have that mentality. Okay, and now something that you really, really have to do, track your period. There are so many period tracker apps and they're free, so there's no excuse for you not to track your period. It is so easy. And the app that I have been using for a really, really, really long time is called Flow, F-L-O right here it's free and i just love it i've tried a couple of period apps and this one's like the most 
like modern one, like clean, easy to read, like best one I've used. Basically, you just track the days you get your period and then it's gonna tell you the days you ovulate. And you have to know when you ovulate because that is when your egg is like at its prime position and ready for a sperm to go and penetrate it. So you have to know when you're ovulating. <laughs> Track your period, that's gonna help a lot. My doctor recommended it, and a lot of girls that uh, are sorry. And I know a lot of other girls who are now pregnant or trying to get pregnant, they all use the period tracker app. It's really gonna help you, I promise. I'm not like talking out my butt. My next and last tip. Some of you might think I'm weird, or I'm a freak, or I'm crazy, or I don't know what you guys are gonna think, but something, I don't know. I don't know, guys, I don't know. Do you guys know crystals? Like, you guys know what crystals are, right? Well, I always have crystals all over my house. I have salt lamps. So one day we were at a crystal shop and I was looking at all the crystals. Like, crystals are like so beautiful. You have white ones and green ones and blue and purple and pink and shiny. Like, every color, every shape, every size you can think of. And each one individually does something. So you have some uh, for positivity, you have some to clean negativity, you have some for good health, you have some to bring in wealth, you have some to clear your mind of stress, like a lot of things. So every time I would see a crystal I thought was pretty, I would Google the name of the crystal. Each crystal has a name by the way too. And I came across this green one with like black specks and I looked up the name and it said it helps with fertility. And when I saw that, I was like, wow. I did not know there was a crystal to help you with fertility, to, like, okay, wow, it's crazy. And this is what they look like. They're green, they have black specks, and I got two, one for me and I got one for Louis. And I read that you're supposed to put it under your pillowcase in bed, you know, when you're like, you know, making love. I promise you, and it is the, the weirdest, like, craziest thing ever. I got it and we used it. So like we put it under our pillowcase and that was the month that I ended up getting pregnant. Guys, isn't that crazy? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, it's just shocking because it's like, did this really help me get pregnant? Like, I don't know. That's why I'm saying. Like, you guys are probably going to think I'm crazy. Like, I think I'm crazy too. Like, it's weird. It was crazy how I bought it. It helped with fertility. Put it under my pillow. Boom. I get pregnant. So maybe this is just like a little boost that you need. I don't know. I really can't remember the name of this crystal, but I will have it in the description, like the name of it. And I'll try to find one online if you guys want to get one. I just think it's pretty cool if you guys want to try it out. If you guys try it and you end up getting pregnant, like definitely let me know. So I wish you guys the best on your journey and please keep me updated. I know God has a plan for you. Don't lose your faith. Be positive. Track your periods. Stay stress-free. Eat food. Take your prenatals. And... You're gonna be pregnant before you know it. So guys, today I am eight weeks pregnant. The babies are the size of raspberries. There are not one, but two in here. So I have two raspberries. And up until like four days ago, I was nauseous every single day. I was nauseous when I woke up. I was nauseous throughout the day and nauseous before I went to sleep. But it wasn't to the point where I had to like go to the hospital and get special pills or to the point where I couldn't eat anything anymore. It was like I could still eat. I could still go on with the day. It was just me feeling like but up until like four days ago, I haven't been nauseous, thank the Lord. Instead, I've just been like really, really, really sleepy. Like all I want to do is lay in bed and watch TV. By the way, I've been watching The Handmaid's Tale, which is like the best show ever, and That 70s Show. And I've also been playing Best Fiends. So like those three things I do in bed. And that's all I want to do. I eat a lot, of course. I eat a lot, a lot, a lot. And what else? Oh, I have a lot of acid reflux, which is like the worst thing ever. I have that with Penelope too. That is so bad. It's like, if you're not burping, you're either farting. So like, gas is coming out of either my mouth or my butt. And at night, like when I'm about to go to sleep, like I'll be laying down and I have to sit up and like burp. And if I don't, like I just like, I, just, I don't know, it just feels weird in my body. I feel like I have to puke. Those are basically all the symptoms I have. I did have a lot of acne in the beginning, like the first month, but not anymore. So far, pregnancy is going great. It's going smooth. I already have a baby bump. Isn't that crazy? I'm only eight weeks pregnant and I already have a baby bump, which is insane. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys right now. So here is my baby bump. Do you guys see that? This is me flexing and this is me not flexing. So if I flex, you can see that I have a bump right here. Let me tell you that none of my pants fit me anymore and it's really uncomfortable. So I need to start buying like, I don't know, I don't like maternity pants. I think I need to start buying like just dresses, like you know those like really cheap ones from Forever 21, that, like just the bodycon dresses. Let's talk about you. What are some things that you have done for me now that I'm pregnant? Like what's some things you find yourself doing a lot? I find myself not complaining when you tell me to do things for you because I understand you're pregnant. Uh-huh. I find myself 
getting food, cooking. He's making a lot of trips to the kitchen now. And like in the morning, like at night for snacks. Like he goes to the kitchen a lot for me now. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I've been like the perfect house husband because I've been cleaning like crazy since she's been pregnant. I'm very true. I'm very thankful for you because I don't know how I would do this without you. And that I'm really happy that you are attending me without complaining and feeding me and cooking for me. And being patient more than ever. That's what I'm here for, honey. Louis has been the biggest help ever because there are days where I can't even be a mom. Like, I just have to lay in bed and just feel like crap. And he's been picking up my slack, cleaning and cooking and taking care of Penelope and running errands and just doing like more than I could ask for. And honestly, it's the best ever. So, yeah, that was my first ever pregnancy update for you guys. Hope you guys liked it. And I hope that a month from now, all of the girls that are struggling to get pregnant are now pregnant and next month you are commenting down below on this video like hey i'm pregnant like oh my god and i love you guys so much and until next time